Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now January 10th of 2021 and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney, Lucasfilm, Bob Iger, Bob Chapek, you name it, and exactly what they really have in store for the franchise. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars is that, yes, we do know that they are indeed on the road to success here, with, of course, over a dozen Star Wars projects already currently in development at, of course, Disney, and what's to come on Disney Plus that's completely separate from the actual movies that are being worked on as we speak. So, John Favreau and Dave Filoni, all right, the Favloni universe, as I like to call it, it is very much, you know, working very well. We have the Ahsoka series, the Kenobi show, Mandalorian, uh, everything related to Rangers of the New Republic and more. That's all going to work in conjunction with each other, all right? That's the biggest focus right now is making these shows all connected to really create this new expanded universe for the fans around the world. Now, with that being said, of course, what's really exciting all has to do with Luke Skywalker's future by Jon Favreau and exactly what he's going to be doing with him in future TV shows, books, novels, and comics, and more, that's really going to restart the Legends version of Luke, the Luke that we all wanted to see for so many years now. Now, of course, beyond all of this, Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy, well, it seems like she has a different stance on Luke Skywalker. Now, given that The Mandalorian Season 3 is now in development, Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are hard at work on the new Star Wars projects for their universe. It's described, however, that behind the scenes, Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy wants to end and cancel Jon Favreau's take on his version of Luke Skywalker of what he is planning, not just for TV shows, but also what's in store for Luke Skywalker in the books, novels, and comics as well. Recently, Kennedy took things up with Disney CEO Bob Chapek in an attempt to end Luke Skywalker from further appearing in the Mandalorian series. Kennedy wants to make sure that her version of Luke can stay relevant in the sequel trilogy movies for the fans around the world to enjoy. However, Bob Chapek refused Kennedy's demands over canceling Luke Skywalker and stopping him from appearing in the new TV shows and the books as well. Kennedy is said to actually feel betrayed by Jon Favreau for making her version of Luke feel insignificant in the sequel trilogy movies now, and how successful Jon has become within Star Wars. So let's just stop right here for one second. Now, this is a very interesting aspect of Kathleen Kennedy that she has a lot of jealousy over Jon Favreau for literally, you know, making Luke pretty much the version of Luke that fans have wanted to see for so many years. If we actually go back a couple of years, I'm talking about like back in 2012 when Disney took over Lucasfilm, there's no doubt about it that there were a handful of fans that were very on edge with exactly how Kathleen Kennedy was going to treat these characters like Luke, Han, and Leia. I know I was one of them. You know, when Kennedy stepped on board and took over Lucasfilm, I thought to myself, there's something about her that I don't trust. And I kind of felt it from the very start. There was something about her, I don't know what it was, maybe it was her tone in her voice, something. Something to me was off about her stance on Star Wars overall. So, of course, you know, a lot of fans around the world felt that way, even before the films dropped. They were very much, I guess you could say, skeptical about exactly how Star Wars was going to be treated by Disney and others. Now. Given that the sequel trilogy really didn't do all that well for a lot of fans out there, John Favreau was able to turn things around. He was able to really give fans, you know, a very positive experience, you know, to really give fans a very nice version of Luke, you know, that was modeled after the Jedi Outcast games. I don't know if you guys knew this, but John Favreau talked about this a couple of weeks ago that that version of Luke that you saw in the finale was actually modeled after the Jedi Outcast installments. So that right then and there tells you that he loves Legends content and material. And even his partner Dave Filoni, he had a big hand in developing, you know, this version of Luke and how he was going to be used in, you know, the Mandalorian Season 2 finale. So given that Kathleen Kennedy obviously has had a lot of problems with Luke, it does, it does really give us a little bit more insight into exactly what her overall real intentions were when it came to Star Wars, right? 
So that's the thing about Kathleen Kennedy is that she really doesn't seem to care about the fans or the fandom overall. She seems to strictly care about her own agenda and her own vision, if you will, and how it should be through her eyes, right? Meanwhile, it really should be done through passionate creators that are actually passionate fans, and that's when it usually works best for the entire Star Wars fandom around the world, right? So, yeah, like I've said before, guys, I think that obviously a lot of fans are very excited about what's to come for the future, and a lot of fans are also, you know, very much in tune with Star Wars right now. So, yeah, like I said before, you guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.